Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Crystal and in today's video I will share with you another way to use vellum as embellishment on your card. Very easy and simple to add more interest to your card. So let's get started. So here I have my panel already cut to size 4 by 5 1 quarter inches and I'm working on a laminated sheet as I will do some ink blending. I'm using ripe persimmon distress oxide ink but you can try with any ink you may have. Using my ink blending tool I'm applying a heavy amount from the edges of the card and applying a really light ink toward the middle of my card to create an ombre look. And one good thing about a distress oxide ink, it's uh, blend easily and don't leave any harsh line. As distress oxide inks stay wet longer, I'm using my heat tool just to heat set my panel. Now that my ink is dry, I will go ahead and stamp my image. I'm using uh, um, this stamp set from Chloe Creative Stamp. I'm using my stamping platform for stamping, but you can use an acrylic block instead. And before stamping, I'm applying my anti-static powder and I'm stamping my image uh, using VersaFine ink, which is a clear sticky ink. Then to complete the stamping across my uh, panel, I will shift my stamp and repeat uh, the same process. Now I will add uh, some white fine embossing powder over my stamp image. Tap the excess of powder off. And then heat emboss my embossing powder. I could have done the heat embossing first and then applied the ink on top. But I was not sure what I was uh, going for at this point. Now I'm attaching my panel onto uh, my A2 size card base, leaving an even border around. Now it's time to stamp some flowers and to do so I'm stamping on some vellum paper. I'm using this uh, layer flowers and leave a stamp set which come with the coordinating dies. I have uh, this in my stash for a long time and I thought it would be perfect for the look I was going for. First, I'm applying some anti-static powder tool on my vellum paper. Then using some VersaFine ink, uh, I will stamp my image. And now I'm just applying my white uh, embossing powder. Then I can heat set the images. One thing about heat embossing on vellum is to get your heat gun really hot first, then bring it to the vellum, but don't stay in one spot longer. Move the heat gun to melt the powder to avoid the vellum from warping. As you can see here, I miss a couple spots, so I'm going to use my VersaFine pen. Apply the ink where I miss uh, the spot, and then add the embossing powder and heat set the image again. Off camera, I went ahead and die cut the flowers using the coordinating die. I'm using only the big and the medium size of flowers today. I'm arranging the flower on my card and once I'm happy with the placement, I can go ahead and use some liquid glue to attach the flower to my card. To add glue to vellum without uh, the glue showing is very tricky. So I'm adding the glue to the back of the vellum behind the white embossing line for a clean look. For the sentiment, as I did not have any color uh, of cardstock to match my card, I applied the same color ink onto some white cardstock. Here I have uh, this set from Memory uh, Box. It come with stamp dies and embossing folder, but in today's video, I'm just using the dies uh, happy, the word happy, and the stamp above that uh, for the card. Off camera, I die the word happy three times. One from uh, some colored cardstock and twice from white cardstock. And now using a liquid glue, I'm just uh, stacking them to add some more dimension to the die cut. 
for the birthday i stamped the image on some colored cardstock using a versifying ink add white embossing powder then heat set the sentiment off camera i first get the sentiment birthday and now using some foam tape i will go ahead and attach it to my card then for the stack die cut happy i use liquid glue to attach it onto my card to finish my card off camera using liquid glue i attach some gems to the center of my flowers so this was my video for today and if you decide to create something similar i would love to see your creation and one place to do so is on my facebook group which i will link down below please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more crafty projects thank you for stopping by and i will see you soon thanks bye